we have a golden opportunity. Now you know how much I don't like Edmund and Edmund's car. So I bought the one car that can beat him at his own game. Kind of a hard thing for me you know all i can tell you is that never say never okay i've told you guys many times that i would never buy a very specific car for rent and well today i bought that car actually i bought it a while ago but it just arrived right now on the truck it's right here and it's really hard oh there's a really nice evora gt on there too that's cool and a 63 G63? Well, I think it's gonna be a surprise to every single person that watches me because they know my hatred for this particular brand. And I wouldn't call it hatred. It's more of like a dislike. You know, I really dislike a certain brand. When I bought the 918, I thought it was gonna be the one that changed my mind. It turns out it wasn't. But today, we have a golden opportunity. Now, you know how much I don't like Edmund and Edmund's car just because I have to hate something in my life. So I bought the one car, I believe, that can beat him at his own game. Now, of course, my cars, my Koenigsegg and my Bugatti are gonna smack the living crap out of his car. But how funny would it be if Edmund lost a race to his Porsche counterpart, the GT2 RS? <laughs> yep, you got a flat. You got oh, a yeah. flat. So let's put some new tires on this thing. That was fucking worth it though. And then we can rent it. So now that we've had some fun in the brand new GT2 RS, I am ready right now to go make a civilized drive because well, what's better than driving a race car hard is driving a race car slow. Because, you know, everybody wants to have a race car looking car, but they also want to drive it just down the street and around the corner and, you know, have fun with the Las Vegas Strip and kind of go out and see your sights. So I'm going to get in the car and see how this car compares to maybe even the, maybe even the 918. Because you know what though? The 918? As crappy as that car was to me, well, it wasn't crappy, but as much as I didn't like it, I love the fact that it just had that just quiet mode, you know? You could just get in and just not worry about anything. We've got a bunch of buttons. If you look down here, it's a bunch of buttons on a Porsche. This is exhaust, it's our nose lift. We're gonna need that right now entering the parking lot. It's a sport transmission, stiffer suspension and uh, electronic stability control. 
electronic stability control and traction control. Wouldn't need to get all those off. But highlight of the car here is you've got this really nice new, um, you know, like infotainment system in the 2000, I believe it would be 18 plus because my GT3 RS was a 16 and it, this is all touchscreen. I don't know if there's a way to go to the home. Yeah, there we go. See how beautiful it is? Probably has CarPlay and all that cool stuff, but I love this thing. And it's very, very, okay, well, having a really hard time just getting to the uh, actual map, but it doesn't matter. It's really like high tech, which is cool for a Porsche. <laughs> out of 10. Now, the reason I'm gonna go that high for a Porsche is because it's twin turbo rear wheel drive and this thing is epically fast, epically fast, okay? I would guarantee you it would hold its own next to a 720 in a straight drag race, possibly beat it. It is amazing. It does need exhaust. Now, Rift has a lot of options for the GT2 RS, which we will need to put on here because well, I, we gotta have a louder, more aggressive experience and the Rift exhaust system eliminates all the bull crap and just gets the best out of the best of these engines. Red, 100% best color for any car. Porsche, definitely red. I love the orange, I love the Miami blue, but I do really like Guards red and this doesn't disappoint. We've got carbon everywhere, okay? Full Y-Sog package, well, we've got a carbon front lip, carbon inserts. We have these right here in carbon. This bottom rocker, carbon back around here all rear bumper trim carbon wing everything full roof all of that makes a really big difference in the resale value of a Porsche which is not that important to me because I'm really focused on making sure people have the best time in this car versus how much can I sell it for after I'm done with it but at the end of the day it does look really really impressive when you have a four hundred thousand dollar window sticker on a GT2 RS. So without further ado, the introduction to the brand new GT2 RS to the Royalty Fleet. over 52 rentals today already on the books. Coronavirus is not slowing us down, which is pretty epic. Everything else is closed and we're open. So come on down guys, we're gonna have a great time. This is gonna be one hell of a week. So I'm excited for it. And plus I might take this home one or two more times, maybe get that seven to an eight. <laughs> 